The Varda Offensive was a World War I military operation, fought between 15 and 29 September 1918. The operation took place during the final stage of the Balkans campaign. On September 15, a combined force of Serbian, French and Greek troops attacked the Bulgarian-held trenches in Dobropol, at the time part of the Kingdom of Serbia. The assault and the preceding artillery preparation had devastating effects on Bulgarian morale, eventually leading to mass desertions. On September 18, a second Entente formation assaulted the Bulgarian positions in the vicinity of Lake Duran. Effectively employing machine gun and artillery fire the Bulgarians managed to stall the Allied advance on the Duran sector. However the collapse of the front at Dobropol forced the Bulgarians to withdraw from Duran. The Allies pursued the German 11th Army and the Bulgarian 1st Army, while pushing deeper into Varda Macedonia. By 29 September, the Allies had captured the former HQ of Uskab, thus endangering the remnants of the 11th Army. The parallel development of the anti-monarchist Radomir Rebellion forced Bulgaria to sign the Armistice of Salonika and withdraw from the war. The treaty included the full capitulation of the 11th Army, bringing the final tally of German and Bulgarian prisoners to 77,000 and granting the Allies 500 artillery pieces. The Bulgarian downfall turned the strategic and operational balance of the war against the Central Powers. The Macedonian front was brought to an end at noon on 30 September, when the ceasefire came into effect. Prelude 28 June 1914 Assassination of Austro-Hungarian heir presumptive Archduke Franz Ferdinand precipitated Austria-Hungary's declaration of war against Serbia. The conflict quickly attracted the involvement of all major European countries pitting the Central Powers against the Entente Coalition and starting World War I. Serbia was defeated during the autumn 1915 phase of the Serbian campaign, prompting France and Britain to transfer troops from the Gallipoli campaign to Greek Macedonia. The Macedonian Front was thus established in an effort to support the remnants of the Serbian army to conquer Varda Macedonia. On 17 August 1916, in the Struma offensive Bulgaria invaded Greece, easily conquering all Greek territory east of the Struma. Since the Greek army was ordered not to resist by the pro-German King Constantine, the surrender of territory recently won with difficulty in the Second Balkan War of 1913 was the last straw for many supporters of Liberal Party. Politician Eleftherios Venizelos with Allied assistance, they launched Turku which secured Thessaloniki and most of Greek Macedonia, causing the national schism. In June 1917, the Venizelists gained full control of the country, immediately declaring war on the Central Powers and joining the Allied Army of the Orient operating on the Balkan Front. The Greek entry into the war along with the 24 division reinforcements that the army had received in the spring of the same year had created a strategic advantage for the Entente. On 30 May 1918, the Allies launched an offensive on the heavily fortified Skra salient, commencing the Battle of Skra Dilegan. Utilizing the cover of heavy artillery a Franco-Hellenic force made a rapid push into the enemy trenches. Conquering Skra and the surrounding system of fortifications, Greek casualties amounted to 434 to 440 killed in action, 154 to 164 missing in action and 1,974 minus 2,220 wounded. France lost approximately 150 men killed or injured. A total of 1,782 soldiers of the Central Powers became prisoners of war, including a small number of German engineers and artillery specialists that served in Bulgarian units. Considerable amounts of military equipment also fell into Entente hands. The plan for a Bulgarian counter-attack against Skra remained unfulfilled as the Bulgarian soldiers refused to take part in the operation. 
Both the Greek and the French press used the opportunity to extol the efforts of the Greek army, favorably influencing the Greek mobilization. The fall of Skra prompted Bulgarian Prime Minister Vassil Radoslavov to resign on 21 June 1918. Alexander Malinov, who assumed office immediately afterwards, pursued secret negotiations with Britain, offering Bulgaria's exit from the war with the condition that Bulgaria fully retains Eastern Macedonia. However, British Prime Minister David Lloyd George rejected the proposal, assuring the Greek ambassador in London Ioannis Gennadius that Britain would not act against Greek interests. In late July 1918, Bulgarian commander-in-chief Nikola Zhekov sent German Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg a message regarding a rumoured Entente offensive, and detailed Bulgaria's inability to adequately defend the Varda portion of the front. Zhekov requested that Germany immediately reinforce the Balkan front, hinting that Austria-Hungary would also be required to strengthen its positions in Albania. On 17 August, Hindenburg pledged to provide Bulgaria with support once the situation on other front permits it. Hindenburg's reluctance to support Bulgaria was also manifested by the early September redeployment of the last German Jaeger battalion stationed in Macedonia back into Germany. The Bulgarians, using information from escaped prisoners of war, determined that Entente forces would engage in hostile actions west of Lake Orod, in Monastir, Dobropol or Human. On 27 August, the 2nd and 3rd Bulgarian divisions stationed at Dobropol were ordered to make emergency preparations as new evidence indicated a frontal assault on Dobropol along with a secondary attack on human. By 7 September, Dobropol was reinforced by one machine gun company, six battalions and ten heavy howitzers. The head of Army Group Skoltz General Friedrich von Skoltz then stated that the defensive measures made the defense of the front feasible. Skoltz had failed to take into account the departure of Bulgarian Chief of Staff Nikola Zhekov and his subsequent replacement by Georgi Todorov. Widespread insubordination and desertions also plagued the Bulgarian troops who refused to participate in fortification works, poor rations and fatigue contributed to the low morale. A day prior to the Entente offensive, General Louis Franchet Despery laid out the final plan for the operation. The first phase consisted of a combined Franco-Serbian attack on the positions of the 2nd and 3rd Bulgarian divisions which was expected to create a breach of the front line in the area of Dobropol, while also posing a danger to the Bulgarian supply lines on River Varda. Tauhi 1875 meters Dobropol peak dominated the region, providing excellent observation points for the defenders. Dobropol was surrounded by a well-developed system of trenches which, in combination with the rough terrain, made the area impassable for wheeled transport. Dobropol was, however, lower and less steep than the mountains on other parts of the front that averaged 2,000 metres. A second Anglo-Franco-Hellenic force would then attack the Bulgarian First Army between the Vada River and Lake Duran preventing it from forming new defensive positions in the area. The initial advance would allow the ARME AQT Dorian to progress in support of other units first to Prelep, Dizma and Boron. In the meantime, an Anglo-Hellenic force would strike Mount Belasica, occupying the Rupal Pass. The Duran sector had previously been subject to two major Entente offensives known as the First Battle of Duran and Second Battle of Duran. Both engagements ended in decisive Bulgarian victories, forcing the Allies to limit their operations to small raids and harassing fire. Between 1916 and July 1918, Bulgarian defences around Duran underwent a period of considerable reorganisation under the personal supervision of General Vladimir Vaziv. The sector was divided into two 14 km defensive areas, protected by the Mountain Division and the 9th Infantry Division respectively. Bulgaria established combat security outposts at a distance of 2 km from the enemy trenches. 
while also reinforcing the defences of the dominant Dub and Kala Tipa mountains. Similarly to Dobropol, the defences consisted of a series of mutually supporting trenches, with built-in observation posts, machine gun positions and artillery pieces. Despery expected to march the Allied Army of the Orient through the towns of Damai Hissa, Rupal, Petrasai, Blagusa, Gradic, Stip and Balesa finally seizing Scorpia. Units stationed at Katsania and Titovo would prevent a Bulgarian flanking maneuver, while the main body of the force would widen the breach both in Stip and Prelep. In case of a collapse of the front between Dobropol and Zena, the Bulgarian 1st Army and the German 11th Army, armies would either be annihilated or, in less favourable circumstances, perform an organised retreat to a new defensive line on River CRNA. The prevention of such a retreat was to be achieved by a rapid, penetrating attack on Gradskor, Trenplanina and Visoka.